welcome to GGKCS, the multi-generational podcast slash floss tube for fans of all things knitting, cross-stitch, and geeky. I'm Cece. I'm so glad you're here today. Today is Sunday, the 7th of November, 2020, 2020, blah, 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 2021 for like what, seven more weeks, it's 2021. And then how in the world is it going to be 2022? I just don't know. This is episode 467. I'm going to have a sip of coffee. Um, we'd like to say a big welcome back, love y'all, to all returning viewers and a big hi to any new viewers. Thanks for giving us a shot. Hope you enjoy the show. Pink is laying on my bed and she just stood up and I thought she was coming over here to say hello to you. No, she's curling up to go to sleep. Sorry. Still, stay tuned after the credits because there's always a Pink Pearl video after the credits. So, um, well, I've got quite a few things to talk to you about today, including... Um, two FOs and some yummies and quite a few other things. So we probably should get started. Here we go. All right, let's start with what's on my needles in my uh, kitty cat project bag from Little Fish Stitches. I should move the coffee out of the way so I don't dip coffee in my, don't dip my uh, my y'all I'm having issues um so I don't dip my knitting in my coffee there we go um I am working on a new project these are birthday socks 2022 birthday socks for my bestie Katie's youngest son Izzy because uh, his birthday's in January and so I will ship his birthday socks with Katie's and the pillow pillow right there that I cross stitch for her. Um, so I'm using my French Vanilla Cappuccino sock pattern, um, which is available at javapearldesigns.com. And as always, everything we talk about is linked in our show notes at ggkcs.com. I'm using US one and a half, two and a half mil needles. The toe is Sun Soaked Sister Everything Earth in the Blue Christmas Without You colorway. And then this here is Earth Yarns Unique Fingering in the very descriptive 3014 colorway. However, this doesn't give you the truth about this colorway because, can you see right there? They're blue and pink, and I can't remember what other colors there are. Ah, I hand wound this ball, but I did it while I was working. So I can't really remember what all colors are in here. It may just be the red and the green and the blue and the pink, but anyway, it's kind of rainbowy. So since Izzy is still um, very much growing quickly, um, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, tube socks for him. Um, oh, look at my, this is my pumpkin spice latte stitch uh, progress keeper from Ann Tudor. Glass stitch markers, love them. Um, so the, the what I've used for the toe, I'll use also for the cuff, but then these will just be a long tube. Um, I have not hand wound a full skein of yarn in a long time, um, but I I didn't want to get out the Swift and Ball Winder. In actuality, I was being lazy. Um, so what I did one day at work this week, I was when I was working from home, I actually just put the skein of yarn around my neck and like would wind and then I would just drop it and answer calls or do whatever I need to do. Then I'd pick it back up and wind a little bit more. And so it took like a full afternoon to hand wind this ball, but it's fun. It's fun. So I had no idea that it was going to stripe. So that was news to me, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see what all colors there are as this progresses. So that is what I am working on knitting wise, but that means I have a couple of FOs to show y'all. So let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's talk about my finished projects. First up, preemie hat number 44 for the year. So this was last Sunday's preemie hat. Uh, for my free top-down preemie hat pattern, you can get on our website, javapearldesigns.com. On US 6 is 4 mil, and the yarn is Vitalana Ambient Worsted in the Dawn Blush colorway and Lion Brand Vanna's Choice in the Taupe colorway. It actually is brown, even though it's looking more gray. You can kind of see some of the brown, but that's truer to the color right there. Did you remember to set back your clock today? We got an extra hour of sleep last night. And I was very happy because I did not sleep well the night before. 
So I hope you remembered and if not, I hope this is your reminder because otherwise you've been early to everything today if you're watching this when this goes live. The clocks, there we go. And then the other thing I finished, Katie's birthday socks. There we go. These are uh, for also for my French vanilla cappuccino sock pattern. Fire truck. Uh, on US one and a half, two and a half mil needles, and the yarn is Uru Yarn Sugared Sock in the Peachy Queen colorway. I really, really, really wish y'all could actually see the full depth of the sparkle because. So this is that's even that's not totally true to the color. It's it's a it's a much richer peach than is showing up, but there is sparkle. But there we go. Um, finished those, and so those will go on the shelf over there with the pillow to go to Katie once I finish um, knitting Izzy's. These are, oh, I didn't tell you on Izzy's. Izzy's are 62 stitch, and Katie's are 64 stitch around. So with my um, modified short row heel, shadow wrap heel that you'll find in all of our knitting patterns that we've designed. So there you go. Alrighty, well, let's go ahead and move on to the next segment. And now it's time for Floss Tube. First up in my thriller bag from Black Needle Society. Uh, just a reminder that I am a rep with Black Needle Society. You can save 5% on your first box of a box to box subscription with the code, all capital letters, Java, Pearl, and the number five, J-A-V-A-P-U-R-L, number five. It won't work on six and 12 month subscriptions as they have a discount built in and it's not valid on special edition boxes. Uh, you need to join the wait list in order to become a subscriber uh, Going by going to the blackneedlesociety.com and in the top bar there is a link to join the waitlist and they will contact you when space is available. So there we go. Um, all right so I am actually working on a project from the uh, Black Needle Society trick or treat box. I am stitching by Michelle Bindi Stitchy Hildes Chupacabra Camp Out. And I'm stitching it on 18 count blood spatter Ada from Stitch Life. And don't fall off needle. My needle is being like weird magnetizing. Anyway, here's where I'm at. Needle Minder is also from Blood Needle Society. So outside borders done. I've got stars. I've got moon. Um, this is almost done. I've got just a little stitching under here, but it's with the black etoile that I don't have yet. I've ordered it, but it's not here yet. And then here's the campfire. That's a marshmallow. That's a marshmallow. So next, I don't know if I will do the center part next or do Hildy next. Can't do the bats until I have the black etoile. Uh, but I mean, this is a small piece. I mean, look, compared to the size of my hand. So it's a fairly small piece. So um, if I can really focus and I get um, the Black Atoll in, I could have this finished next week. We'll see, we'll see. So, um, but yeah, it's been a, it's a fun little stitch. Um, would, and I'm stitching it with um, Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers Silks, which this is the first time I've used those and they are scrumptious to stitch with. So, um, I am working on that. And then in my Winnie the Pooh project bag from Knit Run Gig, um, all the details for everything I'm using in this project are in the show notes because there is lots of stuff I'm using. Um, I am working on Edinburgh Castle by Tara Luna Stitchery. I'm gonna show you where I'm at, but I'm like, I'm like right around, I'm right here-ish. So, working towards the edge there. And I stitch on this at, uh, as my 25-7 project. Um, so, 
the way I'm currently doing currently doing it is I'm stitching 25 minutes a day on it. So, um, and my weeks end on Friday for 25 seven. Cause that's, so I post daily in my stories on Instagram, uh, CC underscore Java Pearl. Um, but then once a week on the seventh day, which is Friday, I post like in my actual feed. So Friday ended right here and I was at 39,200 stitches out of 265,824 complete. And that's 14.747% complete. I'm wondering if I might be able to make it to 15% this week. Uh, like all this right here was one color. I did, I think 140 stitches yesterday in 25 minutes. And I think it's the same, like, like even down into like maybe this square. I think I used primarily this color. So that's a lot of stitches um, to be able to stitch easily and quickly because it's only one color or potentially two if it's got a little confetti in it. But um, that's where I'm at, making progress. It won't take 22 years, but it's gonna take a while. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'll probably do maybe another two or three columns before I move the Q-snap. Um, but when I do that, I will take, I will take picture, maybe video as well of like the whole everything. Cause like all of everything I've done is like all tucked up under here. So, cause this is a massive piece of fabric. Um, it's a 25 count easy grid, easy count, uh, whatever. I can't ever remember what it's called. Uh, it's the 10 by 10 square gridded. So. All right, well, that is everything for floss tubes, so let's move on to the next segment. And now it's time for our favorite part of the show, yummies. Yummies are our current favorite things, things we like, things we want to talk to you about, yummies. And look at this yummy that came this week. Um, it actually has one of the books I read this week in it. <laughs> this is from Love You More Studios. And this is the pearl sleeve. Um, I call it the pink pearl sleeve because, yeah. And um, it's got more cats inside. And it came with a bookmark from, I don't know, the Duke of Hastings, Simon, likes a chapel tea latte. I'm not sure which show that's from, but um, yeah, I love these sleeves. I have a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think. I like them a lot. Uh, I use them for more than just um, books. I use them for other things. Uh, some people though use them as cross-stitch project bags. So there's that this size and then there is this size. So this would hold like a like a five by seven maybe and this will hold a full um like eight and a half by eleven. So by the time I went to buy this though, they were out of the bigger ones because I like the bigger ones are my preferred. But I do have a, I think I have two two of these small ones now. So um, and then the other thing is we got um, the October Knit Crate box. Um, Fiber Feast was the theme. And um, so we got two skeins of this that I think I'm going to have to keep and maybe make hats for my nephews for Christmas next or for their birthdays next year. This is Vitalana by Knit Crate Tweety Sheep in the apple picking colorway. It's 90% wool, 10% Donegal Neps, Aran weight, 100 grams, 150 yards. How yummy is that? And look at those little Neps. So pretty. And it also came with this cool like post-it note pad that says my project ingredients. So like, um, 
you can track your things. Or if you were like going to like a fiber festival or something, you could like make a list of like the different yarns and um, like what weight and what yardage and such you need to be able to shop. So, and then um, I'll try, let me cover up the detail here. And then these are the patterns that came. So there's a crochet autumn ca cables cowl by underground crafter. That's this one. There is crochet sapine socks by Sylvie Dammy. There is the knit Tresse Infinity Scarf by Knitting with Chopstick. And there's the Knit Falling Leaf Socks by Pam Grushkin. These were some of the other colors. I wish they had sent me this orange one. Um, yeah. So, Knit Crate does send us this box uh, every month. Um, and uh, at no charge and we talk about it on the show um a lot of the time we will use what's in the box for prizes for owls and things and giveaways um but sometimes they keep it that's just how it is sometimes but they gave us a coupon code for y'all all capital letters geeky 20 g-e-e-k-y two zero to get 20 percent off your first order it will only work to discount the first month of a recurring monthly subscription or on any of their shop items so link in the show notes for that and that's everything for yummies yummies is much shorter um because I don't have my like week's worth of unboxing to show you from um like I had in October but never fear December is coming and I got the nice list box so I'll be opening that so alrighty well let's go ahead and move on to the next segment And now we're going to talk about what we're reading, watching, and listening to. Just a reminder about our RAL read along. This is a challenge for you to read 15 minutes a day every day. I don't care what you're reading as long as you're reading. Audiobooks do count. And by participating in the seasonal RALs, which right now we're in October, November, December, you earn entries into the year-long challenge. And in the beginning of 2022, which is not very far away, we will be drawing for three grand prize winners from all those entries. Uh, all the rules and details are in the show notes as well as in our Facebook group and you enter by um, posting in the thread in the Facebook group. I'm trying not to spill my coffee here. That would be bad. Um, okay, what I have been reading this week. Um, continuing to read The Body Keeps the Score, Brain, Mind, and Body in the Healing of Trauma by Bessel van der Kolk, reading that as part of my counseling. I finished listening to Faith After Doubt, Why Your Beliefs Stopped Working and What to Do About It by Brian McLaren. This is for my Unashamed Love Collective uh, book club. And um, it was definitely a very interesting listen. Um, and I, I'm, I am excited to have book club uh, later this month. And Brian will be joining us um, to like actually do some discussion on the book. So I'm, I am excited for that. Continuing to read a poem, thought, whatever you want to call it, every day out of Inward by Young Pueblo. Um, I finished reading The Unquiet Dead by Rachel Getty and, and, sorry, The Unquiet Dead, which was book one in the Rachel Getty and Issa Katak series by Asma Zahanet Khan. Um, it was okay. I don't know that I'm going to continue with the series. It wasn't my favorite. I uh, read the book that I pulled out of my pink pearl sleeve um, during Yummies. I read The Year of Needy Girls by Patricia A. Smith. And this is for my uh, in-person book club here in Seattle uh, next weekend. And it um, it has lots of threads of stories. There is this, uh, there's a part of it is... Um, about the murder of a child in this small town. Um, part of it is about the queer relationship of the uh, main character and her partner. 
part of it is about that main character being falsely accused of um of I'm trying to think how to say it because I know sometimes we have younger kids that watch um of, of abuse of a student at the school she teaches at and um yeah those that's like the main threads of the story um it was a definitely an interesting read um So I look forward to talking about it next weekend at my book club. Um, so, and then I started reading the series. Uh, the series is Duncan Kincaid and Gemma James by Deborah Crombie. I read the first book called A Share in Death, and I'm reading the second book, All Shall Be Well, right now. And it is um, murder mystery set in the UK. Um, but I'm trying to think, it must be like, mid nineties, maybe where I'm currently reading. That sounds about right. I'm bad at, at guessing time periods. <laughs> um, okay. And then watching. Law and Order Special Victims Unit, uh, season 23 and episodes for the That's Messed Up in SVU podcast, which is not safe for children. Um, Rewatching season two of Gilmore Girls with the I Am All In with Scott Patterson podcast. Uh, I finished watching Lucifer. Oh my word, I sobbed through the last two episodes. Oh my goodness. Uh, I, it, it was a very well done ending. I'm not always pleased with how shows end, um, but this was a very well done ending. Um, I have to tell y'all that I totally gave you misinformation last week about Doctor Who. So I'm watching series 13. Um, let me open my link here that I saved so that I could give you accurate information. So series 13 is a six-part miniseries. So last Sunday was the first episode. Today is the next episode. Um, and it's, but it, but it is true, a true miniseries. So one story across six episodes. Holy crap. The Weeping Angels are back and they are the ones that scare me the most. The Weeping Angels scare the crap out of me. Um, okay, but then what I was wrong about Jodie Whittaker is not regenerating at the end of these six episodes. Um, there will be three specials in 2022. One will be broadcast on New Year's Day, another in early 2022, and then a final feature-length special where the 13th Doctor will regenerate will uh, air in late 2022 as part of BBC's centenary... centenary, centenary Centenary, is that how you say it? Celebration. Um, but then future, I totally lied to you. Russell T. Davies is the one that's coming back to um, celebrate the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who and the series Beyond. So, I apologize for my misinformation. Now you have accurate information about what's coming in Doctor Who. But holy crap, Weeping Angels. I don't feel like this first episode was like, oh my gosh, holy crap, good. But they needed to set up a lot of pieces for what's coming in the rest of the miniseries. So I felt like they had a lot that they needed to accomplish in this one episode. So um, I'm excited to see the next episode uh, today with this, I think it's going to be this with the Santarans, the potato looking people. Um, watching season 15 of Murdoch Mysteries, watching season 19 of NCIS, and season 6 of The Masked Singer. And then listening to my favorite murder podcast, random Spotify playlists. There you go. Well, I think that's everything for this segment, so let's move on to the next one.
And now let's talk about the September, October, November Artistic Autumnal Owl. Uh, so this is the first episode of the month, so you're going to get all the details. All these details are available as well in our show notes and in the Facebook group. Make sure if you've not joined the Facebook group yet that you do and answer the questions. Who's the mama? Me, Cece. Um, what is the cat's name? Pink or Pink Pearl? And then read the rules because there is a password hidden in there that you need to put in as well as agree to the rules. Otherwise, we won't accept your membership. We're trying to make sure we um, keep scammers, spammers out of the group. Okay. So this owl started on the 1st of September and it runs through the 30th of November. It's for any project that you knit, crochet, weave, spin, stitch, or sew, which includes cross stitch, embroidery, etc., cetera, um, that you can convince is related to autumn. Your fallback, you made it in the autumn. Um, no whips are allowed, so you have to start and finish your project between September 1st and the 30th of November. Every project that you knit, crochet, weave, or spin must be at least 20 yards, 18.3 meters, um, and you post that into the FO thread in the Facebook group, and that counts as one entry into the giveaways. And um, if your project is not at least 20 yards, you need to group it in a single post, thus a single photo, with other projects to, that together total the at least 20 yards, and that will be that one, that post of a group of projects will be one entry into the giveaways. For stitching and sewing projects, we'll leave it to your best judgment. If you want official ruling, email us ggkcspodcast at gmail.com. Feel free to poly dip in other owls as long as it fits in with the other rules. Please, please, please complete our Google form that is linked in the show notes and in the Facebook group. This helps us make sure that you, if you're a prize winner, you get a prize that you is for a craft that you actually do. If you don't fill out the Google form and you are a prize winner, you'll get what you get. Um, prizes. We'd like to say a huge thank you to our prize donors. We appreciate you very much, and we're so grateful for your support. If you'd like to donate a prize, you can email us at ggkcspodcast at gmail.com. And let me tell you about the prizes that are on the screen right now. We have uh, Audine Wools by Knit Crate Mellow. We have two skeins of Cordial. Two winners will each win one skein. We have a needle minder set. Uh, one is Wooden Cat Owl Needle Minder, donated by Lori, and a Pumpkin Kid Turkey Needle Minder. That set will be to one winner. We have a, the Try to Relax Cross Stitch Kit, donated by Lori. We have a Knitting Wrist Yarn Holder. We have La Brabus Light Alpaca. We have a skein of the Dogwood Berry Colorway. We have the Line Where the Sky Meets the Sea Shawl Pattern, donated by Windswept Knits. And we have online Super Sock DK, one skein of 1758 colorway. And the winner's choice of a sock pattern uh, valued at up to $10 US, donated by Emily. Again, thank you so much to our prize donors. If you want to see them closer up, uh, you can uh, visit our show notes, ggkcs.com. Love to our don donors. We're so grateful for you. Uh, you have to be a member of the GGKCS Podcast Floss Tube group on Facebook to participate. Uh, social media. See, this is why I should not try to do increases while I'm talking to y'all. Uh, social media hashtag is hashtag GGKCS Autumn 21. Uh, the FO thread will be locked the morning of the 1st of December and winners will be drawn for the next podcast following that. Any uh, winners will have 30 days to claim their prize or they forfeit it and we will use the prize in another giveaway at our discretion. There is a chatter thread in the Facebook group where you can talk about what you're working on. And we would like to give a shout out to people who finished projects this week. They are Brittany M, Jane S, and Tracy O. Great job, y'all. Keep working on those projects. Um, you have 21 days, so three weeks left to finish your projects, and then you might be a winner. All right, let's move on to the next segment. And now it's time for Ask the Geeks, the part of the show where you ask us things and we try to answer them. So this question was originally asked and answered in 2019, and I am sure 100% that my answer is much different now than it was uh, then. Uh, Samantha asks, what are your current favorite podcasts to watch or listen to? So I just had to go through my podcast uh, aggregator app and YouTube. Um, 
I listen to my podcasts through, oh, I forgot the one that's over in, um, in Spotify that I listen to. Okay. Uh, I listen to my, uh, podcasts primarily through the downcast app. Okay. So I kind of tried to group these together. So true crime wise, I listen to my favorite murder, not safe for children. Uh, I listen to criminal. There's not language, but situations that would make it probably not safe for children. Um, I listen to We Can Do Hard Things by uh, Glennon Doyle. Adore that. And I also listen to Brene Brown's podcast on Spotify. I am behind on that. I need to get caught up. Um, queer podcast that I listen to is Under Our Roof. Love that one. Listen to Latter Day Lesbian, which is not safe for children at all. Uh, Lesbian Chronicles is not either. <laughs> um, and then I listen to I Am All In, which is the podcast with Scott Patterson where he's watching Gilmore Girls for the first time. Um, I listen to That's Messed Up and SVU podcast, Not Safe for Children. Um, this is this next one's on hiatus and I'm hoping it comes back. It's David Tennant does a podcast with dot 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 and he has a different person on every time. There's been two seasons of it. Uh, if you haven't listened to it before, you can go back and listen to those. They're some amazing, amazing episodes. I'm hoping that he's going to do another season. I, if I understand correctly, I believe he is currently filming, um, the next season of Good Omens, um, with, um, Michael Sheen. That feels right. I need more coffee. Um, so those are audio podcasts, video podcasts that I watch. Michelle Bindi Stitchy, Lindy Stitches, Two Martini Stitcher, Creativity by Gidge, Lady Robbins, Stitching the High Notes, The Black Needle Society, and The Pattern Queens. I had to cut way back. I mean, I know this sounds like a lot, but I had to cut way back on my podcast listening and watching uh, when I started working full time earlier this year. So before that, I was probably listening to slash watching double that amount. So um, I will put links to all of these in the show notes um, so that if you want to listen to them and and or listen and or watch them, uh, you can as well. And I'd love to hear what your favorite podcasts are. So if you want to answer in the uh, YouTube comments or in the episode thread in the Facebook group, you can come tell us what your favorite podcasts are to listen to and watch. Thank you so much, Samantha, for the question. If you have a question for us, you should post it either in the YouTube comments um, or in the um, Ask the Geeks thread in the Facebook group, or you can email it to us, or you can um, send it to me on social media, or however you want to get the question to us. There's not yet in all these years been a question we've not been willing to answer, so send it on over. All right, let's move on to the next segment. And with that, we've made it to the end of the show. Uh, just a few announcements. Just a reminder that we are continuing to co-host the Pride Owl, the Pride Along, that started back in May and runs through the end of June 2022. Um, if you go to the show notes, ggkcs.com, there is a YouTube video that tells you all about the Owl. Um, and our hashtag is hashtag ggkcs pride along 2122. We'd like to say a huge thank you. Love y'all to everybody who supports the podcast. However it is you do it, watching is supporting. And so we're very, very grateful for each of you. But a big, especially big thank you. Love y'all to those who support us financially, which helps pay for uh, shipping of prizes and technology behind the scenes. So if you'd like to support the podcast financially, there's a few ways you can do that. There's Patreon and YouTube join, which are uh, ways that you pledge a certain amount a month to your favorite creatives and earn rewards or perks based on the level you donate at. If you'd like to find out more, sign up, go to patreon.com slash ggkcs or click the join button under any of our YouTube videos. Uh, if you'd like to make a one-time donation, there's a PayPal button in the sidebar of our website. We are bookshop.org affiliates, uh, which is a site with a mission to financially support local independent bookstores. If you purchase a book from our shop, we earn a commission and local independent bookstores also earn money from your purchase. Um, and you can see our shop, which has shelves of the books we talk about each week in it, but you can purchase anything from the shop. 
um, that is at bookshop.org slash shop slash ggkcs. And we are amazon.com.co.uk and not CA affiliates. If you're going to shop on Amazon, if you go to our site first, click on the appropriate link and then do your shopping as normal. We earn a little money back based on what you purchase. Doesn't cost you anything extra. Great way to support the podcast by doing something you are going to be doing anyway. You can find us online at ggkcs.com. There you'll find links to everywhere else we are online. Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook group. I know there's more. That's why they're listed there so that I don't have to remember each week. You can go there and find the links. All right. Well, with that, I hope you have a great week ahead. Um, I tried to think if I have anything out of the norm happening. I'm off work Thursday for um, the holiday for uh, for Veterans Day. So that's a nice little uh, day off midweek, which will be weird then going back to work for one day and then being off for the weekend. And I've got book club this weekend. So I'm looking forward to that. So, well, I hope whatever you have on your, uh, on your agenda for the week, that it is a, um, a good week for you. Make sure and get your vaccine if you haven't already. Um, if you're eligible for the booster, get it. Um, I've been loving seeing on Instagram uh, friends whose kids are in the five to uh, is it five to eleven age range who are now able to get the vaccine, and so that is wonderful, wonderful news. So, um, all right. Well, until I see you again, happy crafting, happy autumn, have a great week, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Could you go in your little cave? I don't think I've ever seen you do that before. Did you go in your little cave? You have been in there before when Mama made you go in, but you got out really quick. You're just being cute. You're just being cute. I love you. <laughs>